Hey, here's a smart tip. Put a glass on your room's door handle. It'll save your life. Traveling to new places is so much fun. But when you're unfamiliar with your surroundings, it can make you vulnerable to people looking to take advantage of you. Not cool. Luckily, there are some great hacks you can use to make your travel safe and worry-free. Like putting a glass on the door handle of your hotel room. Interested? Keep watching to find out more. Counting down from number 11, put a glass on your doorknob. When you're sleeping in a hotel by yourself, it can feel kinda creepy. What if someone somehow sneaks into your room while you're asleep? Although it's highly unlikely, here's a little hack that'll help you rest assured anyway. Slip a drinking glass onto the door handle of your hotel room on your side. That way, if someone turns the knob as you're sleeping, the glass will fall and alert you that someone has opened the door. Hopefully, you won't ever hear that glass drop, but it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Number 10. Download maps and translations to access them offline. When you're in a country that uses a language you're not super familiar with, getting around can be tricky. Before going on your trip, download translated phrases from language apps. That way, in case you can't access the internet, you'll still know how to say things like, where's the bathroom? Yeah, that's a helpful phrase. The same goes with maps. An offline map will be a real lifesaver if you're lost and don't have internet access. It's always good to think ahead, right? Number 9. Use a dummy wallet. While this hack is great when you're traveling, it's not a bad idea to use it in your everyday life, too. Use a second wallet in addition to your regular one as a dummy wallet. You can even fill it with fake cash or plastic cards that looks legit. If you get pickpocketed, or even worse, mugged in the street, the perp won't make off with your real wallet. Just make sure you don't confuse the two and end up with a fake one yourself. Then you'll feel like the dummy. Number 8. Email yourself important documents as a backup. In the hustle and bustle of travel, it's pretty easy to lose important documents like your license or passport, especially when you're taking them in and out of your bag to show authorities. If you're worried about losing these precious documents, scan them and email the copies to yourself. This way, you'll have the information handy if you misplace the documents. This simple hack can get you out of a major jam. Number 7. Stay in a hotel room on the second, third, or fourth floor. According to security specialist Jonathan Bancroft, choosing a room between the second and fourth floors puts you at less risk of being robbed. That's because thieves typically hit the first or ground floor, since it's easier to get away fast. Plus, in most hotels, a special key is required to get to the second floor and above, offering you even more security. But this trick isn't just great for preventing theft. Staying between the second and fourth floors is a smart move since you could evacuate the building in an emergency a lot faster than if you were on, say, the tenth floor. Number 6. Hang the Do Not Disturb sign even if you're not there. This sign doesn't only come in handy for sleeping in, it's also a great deterrent for theft. Even if you're not around, leaving the Do Not Disturb sign on the door makes staff and potential thieves think that you're in there. If you want to take things a step further, turn on your TV at a low volume and leave it on when you head out. That way, it really sounds like you're in there watching TV when you're really out having a blast around town. Number 5. Don't say personal information out loud when checking in. You probably know better than to shout your social security number at the top of your lungs. But even less obvious personal information is better left between you and the hotel clerk, and not for the ears of the entire lobby. 
instead of saying your full name, phone number, and room number out loud, jot it down on a piece of paper for the hotel clerk to read. This way, no one will overhear you and use your personal information maliciously. Number 4. Cover that peephole, people! <laughs> Most hotel rooms have a peephole on the front door. Sure, it comes in handy when you need to see who's out there, but the same goes the other way around. There have actually been cases of people being spied on and even filmed through these peepholes. This is a total invasion of privacy. So, by taping some paper over the peephole of your hotel room door, you can really protect yourself. Also, be sure to inspect the peephole when you first enter the room. Does it seem damaged at all or appear to have been tampered with? If so, this can indicate that someone may have toyed with it or put a camera there. If you see signs of this at all, report it and ask to switch rooms immediately. Number 3. Don't use the hotel safe. Hotel safes are a great way to keep your jewelry, money, and important documents secure, right? Well, believe it or not, they're actually the first things thieves go for when robbing a room. And while these safes seem secure, they can be somewhat easy to hack into for someone who's used to doing so. Instead of keeping your important belongings there, check with the front desk to see if they offer any security behind the desk. You never know unless you ask. Number 2. Avoid unsecure internet connections when you're traveling, you'll stumble upon a number of cafes, bookshops, and restaurants with open Wi-Fi. While this is super convenient, it's also super unsafe. Unsecured public internet connections are easy for hackers to tap into, and they can steal important information from whatever you enter into your computer during that time. If you have to log on with a public connection like this, avoid putting in any sensitive information like email passwords, bank account numbers, or addresses. Also, before you go about your travels, delete any cookies or browser history that could reveal important information about you. And if you're really nervous about logging into your email while traveling abroad, create a vacation-only email account and use it only when necessary. If this account gets hacked, they probably won't find anything important on it and you just delete it anyways once you got back home. Ha! Huh, take that, cyber thieves! Number 1. Use cabs cautiously When getting into a cab while traveling, don't ever say that you're a tourist. This immediately makes you a target. The driver may assume you don't know anything about your surroundings and take advantage of you, like driving longer to hike up your fare. Also, when getting into a cab, jot down the cab number into your phone in case anything happens. You'll be able to track them down with the help of authorities. Lastly, if you have any luggage in the trunk of the cab, don't get out until the driver has removed it all for you. This way, they can't drive off with it the second you step out. Helpful hacks aside, there's one thing you should always keep in mind no matter what. Use your common sense. If your gut tells you something is off, then you're probably right. Stay out of dark alleys or establishments that seem shady, and always travel with confidence. The more lost you look, the bigger a target you are for people who like to take advantage of tourists. And nothing ruins a great vacation like theft. Travel safely. So, what do you do to keep yourself and your belongings safe while traveling? Share your own tips down in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the Bright Side of life. <laughs>